In sports, the Chicago Bulls released Rip Hamilton shortly after signing Mike Dunleavy. The former Duke star signed on to a two-year deal worth $6.2 million. Dunleavy has played 11 years in the NBA. At the Birdo Center yesterday, he said he was excited about coming to a winning team, and he said money was a secondary factor. You know, this became a no-brainer for me, uh, especially with where I'm at in my career, uh, my age, what I'm looking for, um, just just for peace of mind and happiness. Uh, the years and money became less relevant, and the situation and culture was the most important. That's why I chose here. Sylvia Fowles played with a painful bone bruise, but it did not seem to affect her performance against the Washington Mystics. She had 26 points, 18 rebounds, and three blocks for the Sky yesterday. But the game was tied at 85 with only a minute left. The Sky got a save from Epiphany Prince. They go on to win 89-85. to And the Chicago Fire hosted Club America in front of a sold-out crowd at Toyota Park. The Fire scored in the first 20 minutes, but Club America evened the score only minutes later. Club America went on to score two penalty kicks. The Fire lose 3-2. The Blackhawks have explained Justin Bieber's meeting with the Stanley Cup. Bieber was caught standing on the Hawks logo in their dressing room, taking a picture of the Stanley Cup and later touching it. It's an unwritten rule to never stand or walk on a hockey team's logo. The Hawks rep said Bieber accidentally stepped on the logo but was immediately asked to step off. Bieber says he's extremely sorry. And that is the news for this half hour. I'm Dolly McCarthy. Thanks for watching. Have a good morning, everybody.